What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode with your host, Brett Crab TV. So today we're going to start a new small series, not big, small series of what it is. What it is, ladies and gentlemen. This new section is inspired because I just want to be able to teach people what it is that most of these uh, alternatives that I use on my channel are for or what they are in general and um, other prerequisites or other things that you might just need to know about them so ladies and gentlemen this right here I hope y'all can see it well this is THCO this is the chemical um, you know the scientific chemical display I guess you can call it I'm not sure what it's called but anyways we're gonna skip that that is THCO so first question of the day is what is THCO first of all right so THCO is a new cutting-edge cannabinoid derived from hemp just like Delta 8 which carries psychoactive effects and euphoric feelings associated with the typical properties associated with cannabis use it is rumored that THCO is roughly three times more, more potent than regular THC, which is Delta 9. So additionally, THCO is known for its anti-nausea, anti-anxiety, anti-anxiety, appetite stimulating and stress reducing properties. So, <clears throat> uh, on to the next one. What is the difference all right, what is the difference between Delta 9 and THCO? This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is the difference. The, the main difference in THCO and Delta 9 THC is federal and legal legality. THCO is fully federal, le federally legal and legal in 38 states, while Delta 9 THC is federally illegal and illegal in most states. Most THCO and Delta 9 THC products uh, produce euphoric psychoactive effects on users and carry a wide variety of medical and recreational benefits. So, what makes THCO the superior form of THC is another question that uh, could be posed. THCO, THCO is superior to the traditional and illegal Delta 9 THC because it carries basically every benefit and effect of Delta 9 THC but is fully federally legal and legal in 38 states in the United States. How is THCO legal to produce and sell in the United States? Since products contain only THCO made from 100% hemp extracts, companies are able to fully legally manufacture, distribute, and sell to consumers in the United States. Ta thanks to the 2018 Farm Bill, uh, ratified and signed into law in December 2018, cannabis containing less than 0.3% Delta 9 THC is legally classified as hemp and thus is legal for all intents and purposes under federal law. Let's also not forget THC itself isn't federally illegal, only specifically Delta 9 THC is illegal kind of odd isn't it it's uh like the <laughs> what anyways um what is the difference between cbd and thco the difference in cbd cannabidiol and thco tetrahydrocannabidiol is that cbd carry doesn't carry the psychoactive effects uh that thco does cbd can be used for numerous health reasons but it will never give the consumer the psychoactive effects that THCO and Delta 9 would provide. THCO carries most, if not all, benefits of CBD, but also introduces the high euphoric feeling, which can be hugely beneficial for many users. What does hemp-derived THC mean? Hemp-derived THC means that THC is entirely produced from hemp. Under the 2018 Farm Bill, which clarifies that hemp is any cannabis plant containing less than 0.3% Delta 9 THC. Hemp is federally legal for all purposes under federal law. Marijuana and or any cannabis plant containing more than 0.3% Delta 9 THC is not used in any hemp-derived THC products. Um, 
Can THC products be shipped in the U.S.? Companies typically send products to 38 out of the 50 states. Is THCO legal in my state? So I'm about to read off a, a list of states which it is legal in. So here we go. Alabama, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Illinois, Indiana, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Mich Michigan, Minnesota, Missouri, Nebraska, New... I I've never known how to say this one. New Hampshire... No, I'm, whatever. <laughs> uh, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, North Dakota, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Pennsylvania, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Vermont, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia, and Wisconsin, and Wyoming. So, which states can you not ship THCO products to? Unfortunately, due to 12 states not having favorable hemp or CBD laws, companies typically cannot currently ship to Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Delaware, Idaho, Iowa, Mississippi, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada, and Utah. Some of those might have been changed. I'm not 100% sure. We apologize. I mean, I apologize for any inconvenience, and hope uh, you will reach to your state lawmakers to demand any type of change. So, how old do you have to be to purchase THCO? While there are no federal regulations setting the minimum age required to purchase THCO, there are several state regulations mandating that consumers must be 21 years or older to purchase. For this reason, you must be 21 years of age or older to purchase any products both online and in store it's illegal to have thco sent through the mail absolutely thco can thco can be sent through the united states postal service legally thanks to a clarification published in the usps regulations hemp products just like delta 8 thc can safely and legally be shipped within the united states so with that being said ladies and gentlemen we know that THCO is one of those uh, second or uh, one of those um, deriv derivatives that you might want to try, you might want to not want to try, but like on you seen on my channel, I have tried it. If you guys want to check out those uh, videos, please look down in my uh, Delta 8 um, playlist. You'll find them in there. Just look for THCO. It is in there. So I hope you guys appreciated this uh, new episode. And um, thanks for tuning in. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Make sure to hit that bell to stay notified whenever I drop any vids. So I'll be seeing y'all on the next one with your host, Brooklyn TV. Peace, y'all. Catch you on the next one.